Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and this is part three in our camera movement uh, series. Uh, what we're going to be doing is a brand new tutorial, and it's called The Bird. Yeah, I went there. Anyway, uh, what I want to show you is uh, where I'm getting my reference from. It's probably one of my favorite books uh, by the godfather of anime, uh, Mr. Osama Tezuka. And... Asamu Tezuka, excuse me. And I'm probably mispronouncing that. Please forgive me. Uh, but the bottom line is he has this... Uh, there's two books that he has. And this is the one on animating animals. And I'm just going to be doing a variation of this particular dove here. I'm just going to pretty much draw in the same shape, but I'm just going to be drawing it from, from the back. And if you don't have this book, if you're interested in getting it, uh, it's a really, really, really awesome book. Uh, and you should check it out because uh, it's got some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool movements in there. Uh, different animals, even like uh, insects and like they even have like a seahorse. Like, how would you animate a seahorse? I'm like, how cool is that? So I would definitely say check that out. Uh, there's also, I think there's two different books that he has. Uh, and I have both of these. This is, they're really great books and shows you a lot of really cool stuff. Anyway, uh, let's get back to animating. So what I want to do is I'm going to, got a new drawing layer I just made here. I'm just going to call this bird. And I'm going to pretty much draw this out using our little default color. Let's uh, get my paintbrush. And what I want to do, again, I'm just kind of going by the just using the book as a reference here. Let's undo, undo that. Okay. Give it a nice little body. The tail. And again, this is just me making very ugly artwork right now because we can go in later and clean it up. All right, so that's my first drawing. And what I want to do is turn on my onion skin for this layer. And I also want to check and see exactly where the pivot point is. Not that I'm really going to be doing a lot of turning, but I'm just going to set it kind of dead center there. And we'll go to the next frame here. We're going to draw in what our next drawing would be. And again, this is me just going uh, by the reference in the Osama Tezuka book. And the third frame. I'm trying to work, what I'm working on now is pretty much as the wings go down, of course, his body actually goes up a bit. Okay. And last one here, his body should be a little bit higher because the wings are down fully. Let's undo that. I'd have them go out that long. Just gonna flip my little stylus around here to get to the eraser. Okay. Just doing a little bit of scrubbing here, just making sure that makes sense. And then the next frame 
Should be. Wings coming up a little bit. And again, just kind of seeing what that looks like. And last frame. Just kind of animate those out a little bit. Now, the beauty of working in Animate is like if you are familiar with or if you're used to working in Flash, uh, the drawings in Animate is kind of like uh, a graphic symbol on steroids. You've got a lot of control. And so I'm just drawing these out exactly the way I want them to be. And what I'm going to do now is select all of these and I want to extend, pretty much put them on two. So I've just drawn these out in each single frame. And now what I want to do is make each one of these frames go to two frames. So what I want to do is uh, exposure, set exposure to two. Okay, so now we actually have that happening. Okay, not too bad. And I want to select, hold on my shift key, select all of these frames. Let's copy this and paste it and paste it again. And what I'm doing is pretty much setting up my own little cycle here. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to paste, but what I want to do It's pretty much keep everything right at this frame here. So let's go to my library and figure out what frame that is. It's frame two. So what I want to do is make sure that the rest of this is out of frame two. Like he's uh, the bird is kind of gliding at the end here. That's what I want to do. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm changing the drawing substitutions instead of it being that normal loop. Let's go here. Let's make this one frame two as well. And we'll extend this out at the very end. Let's do F5. Okay. So that's done. What I want to do now is let's go ahead and play this and see what this looks like. Now, some of the things that are actually happening is we're seeing it's kind of floating in and out of the mountains there. So that has to do with our top view. So we'll go here and we have our bird layer. And it's, of course, right. It's pretty much right dead center. So what I want to do, let's grab our maintain size and I'm going to click and move this, pull this all the way to the front of our camera. And I think the next thing I want to do, let's try to bring this down and we're going to parent it with the camera and see what happens. So I'm going to close that up and parent this with the camera. Okay, it looks like the very first drawing actually got off centered there. So what we're going to do is correct that. So I'm grabbing my transform tool and I want to move Let's actually not transform. Let's grab our select tool. Okay. 
And I need to make sure I'm locking all my other layers so I don't mess this up. Yeah, it's canceled out of that. So let's go down here. And what I want to do is select our bird, the very first frame here. Just so going to click and drag and move this. See if we can line it back up. Okay, so the drawings are actually lined up now. And we have this parented with the camera. And the next thing I want to do is do, start doing a little bit of interesting work here with respect to um, how it's being animated, how the bird's being animated. So what I want to do As the camera turns, or right before it's about to turn, actually, we're going to start uh, having the bird turn a little bit. So I'm going to drop a keyframe at the very beginning, F6. And we'll move forward. And right before that turn, I'm going to start rotating the bird there a little bit. Actually, maybe kind of go the opposite way and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that fits a lot better. And at this point, I think we'll actually move the bird up a little bit. And we'll rotate back down a little. Now I could have actually adjusted exactly where my pivot point is, but it's working fine for me right now. And we'll rotate it back the other way. So go to my select tool. And if I play this now, That last turn is really bothering me. Okay, so let's go ahead and check this. Let's check out our pivot points. So maybe that's what was happening there. Put that dead center so it actually makes a little more sense. And so we'll try this again. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of those keys. Let's do Shift F6, because the last keyframes are bothering me just ever so slightly. So we'll play this again. Okay. So maybe by this point, we're going to have the bird turn a little bit more. And by the very end, move the pivot point to the center again. All right, and there you have it. So you can actually pretty much have it flapping a little more and let it soar for a bit, flap some more. It's little fun things like that. And again, this is like 
little rough sketch, making sure all of this is going to look good. And we'll come back later and make it look pretty. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.